हेलो एंड वेलकम टू इन डेप्थ प्रोग्राम टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ऑपरेशन स्माइलिंग बुद्धा पॉइंट्स ऑफ डिस्कशन विल बी बैकग्राउंड व्हाट सरकमस्टांसेस लेड इंडिया टू कंडक्ट दिस टेस्ट हाउ डिड पोखरान वन हैपन आफ्टर मैथ ऑफ द टेस्ट इंडिया एंड एन एस जी वाई इज चाइना अपोजिंग इंडिया इज इंक्लूजन इन द एन एस जी एंड प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द टॉपिक इंडिया कंडक्टेड इट्स फर्स्ट न्यूक्लियर टेस्ट ऑन मे एटीन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फोर इन पोखरान रेंज ऑफ राजस्थान विच वॉज नेम्ड एज ऑपरेशन स्माइलिंग बुद्धा विद दीज टेस्ट इंडिया एंटर द एलिट ग्रुप ऑफ कंट्रीज विच पोजेस्ड न्यूक्लियर कैपेबिलिटीज इंडियन साइंटिस्ट होमी जय बाबा एंड विक्रम सारा भाई हैड लेड द ग्राउंड वर्क अर्लियर फॉर न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी टू बी टेस्टेड इन इंडिया इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी फोर द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एटोमिक एनर्जी वॉज फाउंडेड विद बाबा एज डायरेक्टर What circumstances led India to conduct these tests? The end of World War II in 1945 did not mean an end to the possibility of a large-scale war breaking out. US and the then USSR had indulged in power battle by engaging in proxy wars in other countries to establish their own superiority in the ideological and economical field which was termed as the Cold War. The first atomic bombings had already taken place over the two Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki by the US towards the end of World War II in August 1945 and the Soviet Union conducting its own nuclear test in 1949. It was then decided that certain regulations were required to control massive destruction and that laid the foundation for the signing of the nuclear non proliferation treaty or npt to maintain a kind of minimal peace one such treaty was signed in 1968 firstly its signatories agreed not to transfer either nuclear weapons or nuclear weapons technology to any other state second the non nuclear states agreed that they would not receive develop or otherwise acquire nuclear weapons All the signatories agreed to submit to the safeguards against proliferation established by the International Atomic Energy Agency that is IAEA. Parties to the treaty also agreed to help end the nuclear arms race and limit the spread of the technology. However, India refused to sign this treaty because it was alleged by India that this treaty was discriminatory in nature towards the P5 countries. Now how did Pokhran first happen? Homi Bhabha laid the foundation of India's nuclear independence. The then Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru was very skeptical about acquiring nuclear weapons and expanding arms acquisition in general. Then a change in the leadership happened and the Moraji Desai government came into power. Till then India had already lost a war with China in 1962. Then there were two wars with Pakistan in 1965 and 1971, both won by India. changed the direction of india's plans china also conducted its test in 1964 unlike nehru prime minister indira gandhi did not hold a negative view of nuclear test but given the treaties that the p5 had in place india decided to conduct its test without any prior information being released to the world a nuclear device was detonated with a yield of 12 to 13 kiloton of tnt on may 18 1974 pokhran an army test range located in the desert of western rajasthan was chosen a team of around 75 researchers and scientists was involved its code name came from the test date being on the same day as buddha jayanti the birth date of gautam buddh After math of the test India successfully demonstrated to the world that it was capable to defend itself even in extreme war conditions and chose not to immediately weaponize the nuclear device it tested at Pokhran This was to happen only after 1998's Pokhran second test In 1978 the US signed the NPT after which the US ceased exporting nuclear assistance to India US stance on India testing such technologies changed only after 2005 when the then US president George W Bush and Prime Minister Manmohan Singh first announced their intention to enter into a nuclear agreement in Washington. The US also pushed for setting up a club of nuclear equipment and fissile material suppliers and this is how the 48 membered 
NSG that is Nuclear Suppliers Group came into existence. This was the group which would go on to implement agreed rules for exporting nuclear equipment with a view to controlling the spread of nuclear weapons and where members would be admitted only by consensus. India did not test its nuclear weapons immediately after Pokhran because of the international sanctions imposed on it by US and Canada. Beyond international sanctions, India's nuclear journey was also hobbled by domestic political instability. However, clamor for developing nuclear weapons picked up once again in the 1980s as reports on Pakistan's rapidly progressing nuclear capabilities emerged. After a few years of domestic turmoil when the political will to conduct nuclear testing was wanting, in 1998, the National Democratic Alliance led by the BJP came to power under the leadership of Atal Bihari Vajpayee. India finally conducted its nuclear test in 1998 under the code name of Operation Shakti. India and NSG India has been trying since 2008 to join the coveted group of NSG. The 48-member NSG is an elite club of countries that deals with the trade in nuclear technology and fissile materials. The membership of India is refused continuously by China as it alleges that India has not signed the NPT. Due to this, India is not able to access the latest nuclear technologies which are possessed by the NSG members. Why is China opposing India's inclusion in the NSG? The official reason cited by China is that India has not signed the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty or NPT. But there is more to it. China recommends both India and Pakistan to jointly apply for NSG membership, arguing that it would make the process more pragmatic. China is quietly supporting Pakistan and has often argued that if rules can be tweaked for one nation, then it can be tweaked for Pakistan as well. India has been against the inclusion of Pakistan due to its poor nuclear non-proliferation record. Beijing's recalcitrance on the question of NSG membership for India is a clear signal that India is and remains a major nuclear challenger to China. China wants to keep India out of the coveted NSG as it feels threatened by India's foreign policies and wants to maintain its outsider status to the coveted permanent member nations. Now moving on to the practice questions. First of all, prelims-based question. Analyze the following statements. One, Pokhran was chosen as a test ground because it is far from human settlement. Two, Pokhran was chosen as a test ground because it had no underground water. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or none of the above. Now mains question. Pokhran test brought India into the spotlight of global nuclear powers. Comment. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.